New Zealand is pretty legendary when it comes to things like pies and dairy stuff, meat, seafood, but it's also pretty legendary when it comes to snacks. I should mention that chips in New Zealand are affectionately known as chippies. Even when you go into the supermarket and try to cop some chips, you will quite often see the signs posted labeled chippies. Now, in terms of the breakdown, what I have today are the types of chippies that you can only really get in Aotearoa. Maybe you can get some of these in Australia. Maybe you can get some of these around different parts of the world. Because I haven't eaten these for many, many years now, 10 plus years, this is going to be a nostalgic throwback. Right, I'm just gonna grab a random packet to start. We are gonna start with Grain Waves. Grain Waves used to be my favorite chippy, but they've changed the recipe a little bit. They've collaborated with Sun Bites. These are whole grain, 30% less fat than regular potato chips, made with real ingredients. Ah, the smell is good. Here we go. Number one, very crunchy, quite dense, quite tough. Sour cream and chives flavor is definitely there. It's coming through strong. My only criticism of these is that they're a little bit tough, over crunchy. If you had brittle teeth, these would probably give you problems. I'm gonna be a bit harsh and I'm gonna give these grain waves a six out of 10. Next up, we have Cheezels, corn snack, cheese flavored. I do remember these. Very cheesy, so here we go. Cheezels. They look like this. They're kind of like an O-ring type situation. Here we go. Crunchy, the cheese kind of explodes in the mouth. Not as tough as the grain waves. Very easy to smash these. Look, these are delicious, there's no doubt about it. I would much prefer to eat these over the grain waves. These are getting a seven. Seven on the cheezels. Next up we have the Popper Jacks, another Bluebird Chippy. These have a one star rating for health, one star rating. So probably not ideal, probably wouldn't want to sort of build the diet around these I wouldn't have thought. I can't say I was really into Popper Jacks, but here we go. They look like this. And the flavor is original flavor. So basically like salted, really salted. Again, that crunchy, explosive, quick to moisten texture. Um, almost like a prawn cracker, kind of like a prawn cracker type thing. I'll give these a 5.5. I did pick up one potato chip and it's the Bluebird Thick Cut Salt and Vinegar. So a little bit healthier for you compared to the Popper Jacks. I think salt and vinegar is like my favorite potato chip flavor. So here we go, Thick Cut. Check that out, look at the thickness. Smell is intense, here we go. Yum, yeah, that is good. The tang from the vinegar, the texture from the thick cut is really good. Do you know what? Those are delicious. I would rate these over kettle chips back in the UK. Those are fantastic. These are gonna get a 7.5. Starting to get a little bit thirsty now, as you can imagine, with all of the chippies. So we're going to quench the thirst with a bit of Bundaberg ginger beer, also known locally as a Bundy. We're gonna have a little Bundy, mate. Ah, sweet, tangy, sharpness, quite bitter. The ginger has a little bit of heat to it, a little bit of kick. Can't lie, I did open this earlier, so it has gone a little bit flat, so the effervescence isn't overly apparent. We also need to have a cameo cream biscuit as well, just to cleanse the palate a little bit. Cameo creams are some of the most classic biscuits in NZ. Creamy, crispy, and coconutty. So here's a wee cameo cream for a little bit of a break. Yum. Next up we have Eater Munchos. Uh, but these are kind of similar to the Popper Jacks. Fond memories of Munchos. Here we go. Spicy tomato was always my favorite. Wow. Rolling back the clock. Winding back the years to my childhood with these flavors. So this is what they look like. It's the, the whole cereal vibe again. That's your chippy. Spicy tomato, great flavor. Yum. Seven. 
Easy seven. Next up we have rations. I can't lie, rations were always one of my favorites growing up. So proudly New Zealand made, the health star rating is 1.5. It's not fantastic, but this is a cheesy bacon type flavor. I actually have a bag that I opened earlier that I'll be using for the test. It's already half demolished, and this is what they look like. So they're a little bit kind of like randomly shaped, almost like a little prawn or something like that. Baconness, as expected, very intense, very Moorish, very addictive. When you bite down, the flavor just kind of like explodes in and around the mouth, coating the inside with this cheesy bacon flavor. 8.5. Ah, another swig on the Bundy. Okay, here we are. I've saved two of the best flavors for last. Burger rings. Here we go. I'm already talking them up. 1.5 on the health rating. These are just full-on burger flavors. Woo! Smell is intense, man. So as you can imagine, they are just a wee ring burger coating, similar to the ration, similar to the cheesels. Here we go. Yum. It's the cheesiness, but it's that extra bit of tang that comes with the burger rings that just sets these apart. It's like a sweet sort of tang. Honestly, in my humble opinion, burger rings are bomb, the best. These get a solid 9.5. And finally, the last snack I have, the last chippies are twisties. 9.5 stars. Here we go, man. Twisties. Been some time since I've had twisties. That's what they look like. Similar sort of uh, shape. Kind of looks like a little prawn or something. Here we go. A little bit crunchier, intense, cheesy taste, and then basically the just coats your fingers. So you end up having to like eat, and then as you go, then you grab and you know, get the remote all dirty or get the side of the couch all dirty or whatever. Not as good as burger rings, not as good as rations in my opinion. I'm going to give these a 7.5. And there we go, my two favorite chippies back home here in Aotearoa. Burger rings coming in at number one, rations coming in at number two. Probably rate cheesels over twisties, but listen, you just cannot go wrong when it comes to New Zealand snacks. These are all incredibly dangerous. Washing these down with a Bundy is just heaven on earth. And I'd like to thank you guys all very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you are going to take part in your own rating of these chippies when you are in Aotearoa, just make sure you set aside a good few hours of cardio exercise so you can either build up the appetite for these or you can burn off the calories because they are full of shit in them basically. But that is it. Thank you guys very much for watching the vid and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care for now and peace.